The Kingfisher boat was, was spectacular for us. We have the toad on board and we're fishing. We have five guys on the back deck. I mean, there's a ton of room. We got a barbecue set up back there. You got a huge, huge dance floor, which is great. You know, we ran into some rough weather and uh, it's a smooth, safe ride, very reliable. You feel very confident when you're in that boat. Whoa, the thing is screaming. That's sweet music right there. But that's some motivation to get this fish in as quick as I can. Oh, they're almost done. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to miss yeah, out. They're going to they're gonna rest in that cast iron pan for that's a bit. Nobody and, uh, that rod. <laughs> that'll be that, Mo. Sometimes it's difficult to tell just exactly how big the fish is because you're, we're traveling at six and a half, seven miles an hour or so. And we don't really want to slow down too much because you want to try and get multiple hookups at the same time. Because usually when you get one, you get a couple because they're schooling together. But when, when you slow down, it, it affects your, your troll. And I mean, it's such a fun fishery. You know, still when you talk to people about catching tuna off the west coast of Vancouver Island, a lot of times they can't even believe it. But if you ever get a chance to experience it, it's it's a huge adrenaline rush listening and it's a lot of fun. Dance, you know? <laughs> <laughs> listening, listening to your sweet words just makes me want to you dance. You just sold the trip for me. <laughs> <laughs> right in that wheelhouse, eh? Same, same, yeah. Nice work. Thank you, sir. Good job, boys. Well, we're gonna give you this big bad boy right there. Give me the Thick, biggest, baddest one you got. Rare. It's juicy. Look at that bad boy. That just melts in your mouth. Now we're in a triple A beef tenderloin. Look at that. Jeff, 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 Jeff. That's living on the boat. Tuna fishing, How's that look? steak sandwich, oh, yeah. prime time. You nailed it, bud. Can't wait. There we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I got her. Okay, hold on. Grab right this. Right 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 grab that. It's good, dude. We're good. This is a long stinger out there on the black and blue again. Yeah, the purple black. That's a good one. The uh, port side of the boat's on fire right now. Triple header! Come on now! Woo! 2020! Sending a message. You don't like being cold. <sighs> nice and steady. Nice and steady. That's a nice fish. Good job, Billy. <laughs> nice fish, Billy. I'm choking. Just about here, Billy. Me too. It's a nice fish. It's a nice fish, fat fish. Get him in. That's a good fish. You might as well stay there. We got one more coming. I don't think this one's that big though. Nice fish again. Get that in. Oh yeah. Good job, buddy. Nice boys. Nice job. job. There we go. Triple there header. We go. <laughs> what a day. Awesome. Sweet. What a tremendous day out on the water we had. Just great company. I mean, I can guarantee you there's not another boat in the fleet that ate like we did. This tuna fishing game is, the adventure is, is a big part of it. Like, when you see these fish in the water and get to see their color, is you know, just how they're built. I mean, they're an amazing, amazing fish. You just kind of shake your head in appreciation when you see these beautiful fish in hand. The things you get to experience when you head offshore, I mean, the whole package really is uh, phenomenal. I want to say thank you to Tofino Resort and Marina for hosting such a marvelous event. It's a big undertaking, you know, hosting this many people, but they, they did a fantastic job, and I look forward to seeing everyone again there next year.